I have bad genetics. Are you serious? Let me tell you the truth. You don't have bad genetics. You are lazy bum. You don't want to work hard, isn't it? Hello and welcome to my new series, Myths Uncovered. Hi, I'm Rahul and today I'm going to bust a very common myth where I see 18 and 20 years kids giving such foolish and lame excuse for not working hard and jumping straight away to the anabolics. Now genetics actually has become a favorite excuse of people who can't build enough muscle or lose enough fat. You know what they say, my genetics is not good, I can't make that kind of amazing physique. Are you talking BS? So before jumping into the topic, I would recommend you to first find out your goal, what you exactly want to do. Do you want to be a professional athlete or you want to be on stage competing? If not, then do not blame genetics or your parents and be responsible. In fact, stop worrying and start doing. Work hard, man. Now let us understand how much do genetics influence your results. The truth is, it is a lot less than these people want to actually believe. Sure, your genes determine certain things like which muscle groups tend to be your strong points, your hormone levels, how much fat you tend to hold on your body and where you tend to gain fat. But believe me, they are not standing in your way in terms of gaining muscle or losing fat. You can get in amazing shape if you know what you are doing. I have known quite a few hard gainers over the years that have gained 30, 40 and 50 pounds in their first year and two of training correctly and with no drugs. Let me tell you, I have known countless men and women who were convinced that they were genetically programmed to be fat but they got in the best shape of their lives once they fixed what they were doing wrong. Now genetics can make it easier or harder and some people have naturally high testosterone levels which means faster muscle growth and an overall leaner physique. Some people's metabolism are naturally faster than others making weight loss an easier part. Genetics also play a role in the shape of your muscles. Not all guys can have that perfect square uh, chest or amazing bicep peak and not all women can have perfect vitals. But none of these things are limitations, right? So who cares if you gain muscle or lose fat slower than the other person as long as you get to where you want to be. And big deal if you can't have the same aesthetics as a fitness cover model, you can still look awesome and feel great and that's what it's all about. So work hard, be consistent, be accountable to yourself, be truthful and be safe. Uh, build your foundation first with good nutrition, hardcore workout for at least two years and then moan for your genetics if you still feel you are not the lucky one. Thanks for being with me. This is Rahul signing off. Bye-bye.